uh, playing guitar, a uh, technique commonly used to play uh, chords is called barring. That's taking usually your index finger and putting it against all the strings to uh, close off the string, close them off from the higher frets. So instead of a sudden like this, it would be like this. So when doing it, a tip to use is to always rotate your finger backwards. So the side of your finger is touching the strings. Also knowing that you need to put as much pressure as you can across all the strings. Otherwise you get this kind of muted sound when you play strings individually. So this string right here is muted. So you would find which string that is in your finger. Rotate it, rotate your hand more so you can play that string. So. So now that string is not fully pushed down. Also important to note that you'll be using this um, that when you're using your finger to bar and play chords you need to put it as close to the fret as possible because it's easier to block them off near the fret than it is from the center in between each fret so instead of that you have this when you play in the center Another technique is called ripping. That's when you're placing, when you already have a note played down. You're pulling off the string. So I'm playing an F sharp here. And I rip it off going downward to play an E. Uh, for the song I'm about to play, which is Lesson 78 out of the uh, Seguris book. It's a technique known as hammering. So my first note, I have an F sharp, but it's going to G and it's slurred, or if you're a wind player, it's slurred, but it's also tied, which is just the note continuing without having a, a, uh, a new sting, essentially. So for hammering, what you'll do, so for here I have an F sharp going to a G. So it's F sharp, you're essentially slamming your finger on the nearest fret to the next note that you need to play. Which, for this fret, I'm holding it F sharp right here. You want to be able, you want to make sure that you're hitting the note as hard as you can. You can make it, you can hit it out as far as here if you, if you need to, as long as the e, as the note sounds even. So, for lesson 78, it's utilizing a lot of hammering. So, a lot of the hammering that I'll show, a lot of the notes, a lot of the playing that I'll be showing you is emphasizing as much as I can on hammering. So, for lesson 78, it'll sound like this.
Now, if you notice, while playing uh, Lesson 78, I wasn't actually putting enough pressure down while hammering, so that's why it caused a lot of the, uh, say, E to F sharp. I wasn't, I was putting my finger in the middle of the fret, the middle of my finger on the fret, which is muting the note that I need to play. So be sure when you're hammering or practicing uh, how to hammer to put it right next to the fret so that you want a little bit of a gap between your finger. It just, it just helps to ensure the fact that you're hammering correctly and you're not muting the note uh, altogether. And if you also notice too, I was using two notes and using two fingers to play, um, well I, the first part I have is a measure three for me. I'm playing a D and an F sharp. So that would be I also noticed that while I was playing, I wasn't putting enough pressure on my D. So I also was putting a little close to the middle, which made it a little awkward uh, while trying to think that I need, trying to remember that I needed the bar and hammer down. So keeping a few of these useful hint, uh, hints in mind uh, helps you um, play tied over notes, tied over quarters or eighth notes, whatever that may be for your piece. Just small things like that that can actually really help define and refine uh, your playing skill and make you uh, overall uh, a better player.